This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, I think, 2022. I'm here at Packham Pond. It used to be Lebanon State Forest, but now it's the Brendan T. Byrne State Forest. It's pretty nice here. It's like nine miles from my house. My wife just got a job, kind of part-time or full-time or temporary seasonal working at the state forest office which was nice great job uh shitty weather it's been freezing then it was 70 the other day and then we had snow and ice went below freezing it was 19 degrees and then the next day was like 58 you know yesterday was pretty freaking cold all day and today it's almost 70. But it's pretty nice out here. And I got a couple cabins and shelters you can rent. But winter, I, you know, been sitting home other than getting firewood and all that stuff and been busy that way. The other day, or yesterday, I was working on the greenhouse, had to put a new cover on that. And then the winter, we had shit growing in that greenhouse and in the garden it grew like eight feet tall with little burrs and stickly things on it it was horrible but anyway been cooped up in the house other than that little stuff kind of got a little heavy again so now i'm doing a couple walks here and there when i can and this is pretty close so when i drop i gotta drop my wife off in the morning and then pick her daughter up from work. It all works out about the same time. So I got this time. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more exercising. Ooh, this trail's getting a little. Can you see all these stumps? Uh, trying to lose a little weight, get in shape a little bit better here. This trail is getting really narrow for my body. See how narrow this is? Sticker bushes, prickly bushes. So anyway, the stuff going on with Russia, the Ukraine, I've been hearing people say that we should just launch missiles. We should take them out. We could kick Russia's ass and China's ass. I don't know where these people are getting this information from. Is it the internet? Is this misinformation? From what I've, the information I've gotten, if you dig, you'll find the truth. The media, you know, lies to us about everything. They make the United States seem bigger, better, and better than they are. Over the years, Russia and China have beefed up their military. There's no gay, transgender. A couple of the guys were too sissified, they say. Uh, single mothers having children with no father around. These people aren't right for their military. They're beefing stuff up. Us, we're allowing more gay and transgender. Uh, we're sissifying our military, which is all opinion, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, I'm not even going to go there, okay? But people are saying we can kick their ass. I don't think so. The information I've been getting or looking at, this is really nice out here. So the information I've been getting is we outnumber Russia as far as ships, battleships, aircraft, stuff like that. They, we suppose you have more military troops, but as far as backup, they outnumber us by millions. Uh, I'm not sure who's getting the right information. Do I have it? Are these people saying that we should push the button because we'll win? Are they right? I don't, I don't see a ground invasion from Russia or China here. We have too many people. We have too many guns. I think the only way they could do that was if they shot off... Oh, this is marshy here. If they shot off an EMP and we lost power, 
uh, communications. Because as soon as there's an invasion, everybody's going to be posting, you know, on TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Well, well, no. They would have to knock out the internet, knock out our power. They'd have to knock out our uh, resources for food, for travel, and the trucking, which is pretty much all, all, almost already there. I don't see them doing a ground invasion. I think it's almost impossible. Well, nothing's impossible, but if they were to knock everything out, maybe they could do something. What are your thoughts on that? I don't really see that. But I do see, with this president we have, if you want to call him that, see what I'm walking on? Ooh, heard something in the woods over there. I do see a potential problem for a nuclear attack, but I don't think that is really going to happen either. Because you've got to figure we have all the, you know, technology to, to see that. If they launch a missile for an EMP attack, unless it was untraceable and we couldn't see it being launched, they're not going to launch it. Because it could be a nuclear missile, it, it could be, you don't know what the trajectory is. If Putin fires a weapon, we're going to retaliate. Somebody else could retaliate. That's the end. There's no winners with that. I don't see that happening. But I've been wrong before. I think it was a Tuesday. This gorgeous here or what? So, people are prepping for a nuclear war, buying the iodine, they're buying all kinds of stuff. What are your thoughts on that? There's only so much you can do. There's only so much you can prep for. You know, the way things are going, we're freaking broke. You know, you try to put money away in case of a rainy day and stuff like that, which we have done. We've tapped into that. That's gone. We're just doing things the way we always have. Worked on the garden the other day. I'll put a new top on the greenhouse. Uh, trying to get out and lose some freaking weight. Get back into shape. Summer's coming. And in case there's nuclear war, if there's fallout, I gotta run. I gotta run. I'm kidding. Restricted area. Do not. Do not. Do not what? This is my first time out here. But it's not bad. It's only nine miles from my house. You can't beat it. And my wife works uh, a mile from here. What a cool job to work out here. But a lot of weird shit going on in New Jersey. Governor Murphy, when the pandemic hit, was worried about all these prisoners in the jails and the prisons getting uh, COVID and having an outbreak. So the prisoners evidently can gain points or credits and leave early. Evidently they let a lot of prisoners out already. Oh, I'm at the road. They let a lot of prisoners out already and now they're letting out another 800 and some. Now they're not murderers, supposedly. But they said the crime rate has skyrocketed since last year, since they let all these prisoners out. And they say that there's nothing going on in the jails, nobody's, there's no outbreak or any of that stuff going on. But he's still letting prisoners out early. The guy's an idiot. Governor Murphy. What a shithead. And out here in the middle of nowhere, you have all these bike riders out here. And on some of the roads, we have white lines along the road. So the bicyclists stay to the right. They're supposed to ride single file, just like motorcycles. But they don't. They ride side by side. One's in the white lane, and one's in the middle of the fucking road. And you got to go around them. They cause accidents out here all the time. People go, trying to go around them. And there won't be two or three. 
So I'll have like a hundred of these people at a time. And as soon as you get to a bend out here in the middle of the road, car coming the other way, the bikes are out in the middle of the road. They just passed a law. Or they're working on, on it. I'm not sure if it passed or not. What they're going to do, you have to give them the right of way. Doesn't matter if there's four or five wide. If they're blocking the whole road, you have to go in the other lane on towards oncoming traffic and go around them. Or if there's traffic coming, you have to slow down or stop and let them go by before you can pass. Are you kidding me? When I was a kid, you got to look both ways when you cross the street. You had to cross at the crosswalk or you get a ticket for jaywalking. <coughs> they got rid of all that. You don't have to look both ways. I see it all the time. Go to the store. You sit there. People walk out on their phones. They might look and see you, but they'll walk like, eh, car. And they'll go out. They'll stop. They go through a pocketbook or get a cell phone. Do something. They block traffic like they dare you to hit them. My dad, pff, if that was me, my own dad would have ran me over. Look at these nice cabins. You can rent cabins, you can rent shelters. I don't know what the difference is, but evidently they have both. Let's check this out. There's a cabin. You got a picnic table, you got a grill. I think this is what they call the shelter. And I guess, I don't think anybody's renting this right now. I guess it comes with a canoe. Oh, there's some geese. There's some geese. Got a little dock. Well, that dock doesn't look real safe to me. Looks a little crooked. Hmm. Let's go out on the dock and see what happens. So yeah, you walk out in the road you had the crosswalks and stuff like that. But you had to look both ways. If you got run over by a car, that'd be your fault. Today, people don't give a shit. It's like, I'm walking here. I'm on my phone. I'm playing TikTok. I'm talking to Aunt Mary. Who are you to drive where I'm walking? Everybody's got their own, their own agenda. I'm going to do what I want. If you don't think what I think, there's something wrong with you. It's ridiculous. People driving these freaking Teslas getting into accidents. One caught fire the other day, or maybe it was yesterday, the day before. Guy burnt to death in the Tesla. The, the batteries caught fire. Uh, well, I think he got into an accident. Whether the accident killed him, but they couldn't get him out. He burnt. You can't put out a battery fire. It's like a tire fire. You can't put them babies out. Nice cabin. Might have to stay out here one day. Maybe one weekend. So, what are your thoughts on the war? Are we going to go to war? Somebody was talking about a draft. I don't think it's going to get that far. I think we'll be bombed before a draft comes. But that's my opinion. What do I know? So what are you stocking up on? Are you worried about the war in Ukraine and Russia? Is shit going to happen to us? Are there going to be nukes? Are we going to lose power? Is an EMP going to go off? I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. I just want to know what you people are thinking. What side you're on. Do you think we can kick Russia's ass? Do you think we can kick China's ass? I don't know where people are getting this information. I really don't. Well, hey, maybe I'm getting misinformation. Maybe the USA still is the superpower. 
I don't think it has been for a long time. But that's just my opinion. Everything, everything I say on this channel is my opinion. That was a nice walk. See the parking lot up there? It's got to be 65, 70 degrees today. Whew. I'm sweating. Got shorts on. I'm rocking the shorts today, baby. So I just wanted to put this video out there, see what people are thinking. And what are you stocking up on? Are you stocking up? Are you prepping? What are you prepping for? What's the main item you think everybody should have with everything that's going on in the world? I don't know. Just putting it out there. And how stupid do you think people are today? Driving these electric cars. I think it's a joke. But that's my opinion. Gas prices went up, going down a little bit. I'm good. I'm happy with that. Wasn't looking forward to seven dollars a gallon. Now it's down to four twenty. So it's not as good as it was, but it's better than it was last week. Uh, oh. Gotta look for another vehicle. My Ford F1 Shitty is a piece of crap. It's a polished herd. <clears throat> this guy up here's got a Nissan lifted Nissan pickup. That's pretty nice. I'm going to stay away from Ford, Dodge, Chevy. Yeah. I think Toyota, Nissan, something like that, probably better. I saw the Toyota Tundra gets the worst freaking gas mileage. Maybe I don't want that if I'm pulling a trailer. Oh, that's a nice camper van. Nice camper van. Nice pickup there. All right, so this is Pony Prepper Bill. I'm back at... Uh, the parking lot and let me know in the comments below what you think is going on and what are you prepping for i'll talk to you later bye